Yaho, 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 and welcome back to my channel, YouTube. Yesterday, the number of cases of coronavirus in Madrid skyrocketed. Now, what do I mean by skyrocket? Well, in my last video, right? In my last video, how many cases were there in Madrid? I'm curious. If I remember correctly, around 631, somewhere around that number. Well, let's look at it today. 1,231. So, in a matter of one day, the number has doubled. I think this is not as alarming as I would have initially interpreted had I not been preparing myself mentally for this. But it is something to take note of that this is not just in Spain. It hit Spain hard, but this is going to happen in other places really soon. Look at the top numbers for any country that has a serious triple number coronavirus count. We're now in the thousands, in the thousands, in one, two, three, four, five, six countries outside of China. And I feel that this is not alarming, but it is something to be aware of because let's look at how many numbers, how many countries are in the triple number, triple number range. Many. And you can expect all of these countries to be rising steadily over time probably reaching the thousands by the end of the week. I could be wrong. I could be just fear mongering, whatever, but I'd rather be wrong and inform you guys to start getting into the right state of mind than be right and not make these videos. And I want to read to you an article because something really relevant happened to me yesterday. Actually, it was hard to get to sleep and it was hard to get up in the morning as well, too. I think it was because of the initial phase of panic. I still got up a little earlier than I usually would have, like I, at like a 7.09, which is way better than 8 o'clock or 9 o'clock. So I'm really happy about that. But let's read to you this article called Madrid to close all schools for two weeks after coronavirus spike because I'm a teacher. And if the schools are closed, that means I'm out of a job. This is on itv.com slash news. Ready? All schools, including kindergartens and universities in the Madrid region, are to close from Wednesday for two weeks following a sharp spike in coronavirus cases in and around the Spanish capital. Health Minister Salvador Ilia has announced, he also has announced more than 200 new cases and three deaths across Spain since the previous tally given only a few hours earlier few hours earlier. Spain has confirmed 1,204 cases of coronavirus with 28 deaths and 74 people in intensive care, Ilya said. Those cases, he said, imply a change for the worse of the disease in Spain. Yeah, you think so, really. National Broadcasters, TVE, said the measure in Madrid would affect some 1.2 million students. Madrid has registered more than half of the cases of the new virus in the country, with much of the contagion linked to nursing homes and health workers. Earlier on Monday, authorities in northern Spain's Basque County also announced the closure of educational centers around the regional capital, Vitoria, where the second worst cluster has been identified. It's coronavirus, everything you need to know. Your daily one-minute update from ITV News, yeah. The drastic measure comes after Italian Prime Minister Guspi, Guspi Conte promised massive shock therapy to overcome the impact of the coronavirus outbreak in his country. After his government put up one quarter of the country's population on lockdown in a bid to combat the crisis. After mass testing uncovered more than 7,300 infections, Italy's outbreak had surged to nearly equal Korea, South Korea's, which had been tapering off and trailing China where COVID-19 is in retreat. Italy's death toll now stands at 366, the second highest after China. All right, so what does this mean? 
I did a little bit of research yesterday into the Italian situation and how that's going. I think Europe has taken this a lot less seriously than Asians because of the time it's taken for panic to really settle over here because if you don't remember it correctly I do I've been I've been up on the news on this one if you go over to world meter I'm really curious as to why Taiwan Thai and especially Thailand why is Thailand capped off at 50 cases what have they done right that's allowed them to cap off at 50 cases because Thailand was affected really really early on in the in that epidemic so I'm really curious, how, why is Thailand at 50 cases? I think there's a wealth of knowledge there that us European countries need to start exploring because China has been underreporting for a very long time. I don't trust those numbers. Japan has been doing that as well. Has Thailand been underreporting at 50? I don't know, but I want to know. So maybe for tomorrow's update, I will... Talk about what Thailand's been doing and how you can better prepare yourself for this. Because I'm going to be at home for the next two weeks. So I tend to think that, yeah, I'll be here. Anyway, YouTube, that's the video for today. Hope you all stay aware. Hope you all stay a little more aware of this problem. It's here. It's coming. It already got me. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.